Hello, New Orleans Saints fans. I am Todd Graffanini, digital media contributor to NewOrleansSaints.com, and it's time for week three of Know Your Enemy, presented by Microsoft Teams. Got a tough matchup again for your New Orleans Saints this week. It is the 2-0 Green Bay Packers, so let's talk to John Kuhn, who also played for the Green Bay Packers, as well as the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to be here. Happy to do this. Well, let's get to the Captain Obvious first question here, and it's about Aaron Rodgers. He is off to a tremendous start at the quarterback position. It's pretty evident that whatever happened between him and Coach LaFleur a couple of years ago is long gone. They won 13 games a year ago, but he is really on a different level. You played with him in Green Bay. He's such a competitor, but was drafting Jordan Love in the first round behind him something that has motivated him even more this year well i'm sure and i'm certain that it is definitely motivating him as the competitor as the quarterback as the future hall of fame entry that he will certainly be in canton someday but let's be honest all the talk the last few seasons about aaron Rodgers and maybe a lack of production on the green bay packer offense was due to he had a lot of things changing over the last three years but this year is the second year in a Matt LaFleur offense, a third year that he's working with the likes of Alan Lazard, Marquez Valdez, Scantling, Equinemius St. Brown, a young receiving core other than Devontae Adams, including the tight end position. He's had the luxury now of a couple years of getting into this thing, so they feel comfortable. He has the familiarity back that he used to have with the Jordy Nelsons, the James Jones, the Randall Cobbs. But how big is this offensive line played only have allowed one sack also in the first two games. Yeah, you love when you get those big 75 yarders, right? Because it brings up the average yards per rush. And 259 yards, you're usually going to have at least one big run in that makeup. But it, they had a lot of explosive gains beside that 10, 12, 15 yard runs. I mentioned again that jet sweep that they used so effectively against the Minnesota Vikings six, seven, maybe even eight times in that game was a real effective play for the Green Bay Packers. Then you throw it in the second week. I don't think they gave the jet sweep one time, but the illusion was there. That keeps the linebackers in place, keeps them from playing downhill, allows the line to get up to the second level. And I do have to credit that offensive line for the Packers. A lot of different moving pieces because of injuries early on in this season. We can talk about Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Jones, and we haven't even touched on Devontae Adams, who so we'll see what happens with him nursing the hamstring, torched Minnesota for 14 catches. Oh, by the way, the Packers haven't turned the ball over in the first two games, and for the first time in the history of their franchise, uh, over a 1,000 yards in the first two games. They are rolling, but is there anyone else, uh, either offensively or defensively, that Saints fans might not have heard of that could have an impact on this game on Sunday night? Well, I mentioned Tyler Irvin and the way he uh, presents a dangerous feature with this offense, with his jet sweeps, catching bubble screens. He's really a running back, jack of all trades, catch a lot of passes. He's really uh, our version of Kamara. Outstanding analysis, again, from former Packers and Saints fullback John Kuhn. Thank you so much for joining us on Know Your Enemy, presented by Microsoft Teams. Enjoy the game from the Dome on Sunday night.